Hello, hello, Leo, and welcome to Stars with Stasi. This is your weekly reading for March 23rd through March 30th, or whenever you come across this message, it is meant for you. Now, I've already shuffled your cards and meditated on the messages, so we're going to go ahead and get this week's theme for you. Now, just as a matter of reference, we have the lunar eclipse happening on the 24th or 25th, depending on where you live, and that is happening in, I believe, your third house. That's going to impact your communication, learning, and um, relationships having to do with your neighbors and your siblings. All right, so we'll see what the themes are for you. Immediately, I've got number 10, which signifies an ending, right? And a new beginning, by the way, because one can't exist without the other. So I have woodwives, adaptability. So there's a need here for you to be adaptable in a situation or a um, or an event. I don't know what that means. I'm almost getting like if you're traveling or moving, there's a need here to be adaptable. Um, I'm sorry to say the way it's coming through is that you're going to have to come to an agreement with somebody because a timeline changes unexpectedly and you need to rely on another for assistance in a move. That's very, very um, specific, but take it how it resonates. I know there's a lot of Leos out there that watch this. I'm a Leo rising, so we'll see how it goes. Stag, trust, and thrive trust and thrive and i feel like the, the messages that i'm getting here is like whatever unexpected change or reroute this is which is again eclipse season right whatever direction you're being rerouted in it's for you to to trust and thrive this says scholar investigation and research I feel strongly that you're going to take on a new interest, right? Which makes sense because this energy is, again, in your third house. It impacts learning. What interests you? And what interests you, the things that become hobbies today, end up being like a stream of money later because that's the way the universe is moving towards. We're moving towards a time like that. Um, Eight of Swords is indicating that there's a situation here that you're in your head about. I am picking up that this does have to do with potentially siblings or someone that you see like a brother, sister. Um, for some of you, Leo, the way it's coming through is like you've been separated potentially from your family for some time, like your blood family. So there's this energy here of either reconnecting for clarification or for dissolution, right? Meaning that it's either going to be a coming together of a communication of some sort or they're, you know, because there's a there's a perception here that the doors are closed. And they might be. They might be. You know, let's see. I've got the death card, Scorpio energy showing up. Right? Some of you may have Scorpio in your chart. I'm, I'm you know, my sun sign Scorpio. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, or this may very well be there's a transformation in your relationships. I've got six of pentacles. Six of pentacles indicates, you know, that you're looking for balance. This is someone who's also charitable and um, has, has enough to provide others. So a few things. This could be that you've been transforming relationships so that you do find a space of there being more balance. It also signifies that you are transforming something that you're working on right? And that someone wants to offer help to you, right? Someone wants to assist you in your transition, whatever that looks like for you. I've got four of cups. Yeah, you're definitely going through some changes, Leo. There are things coming through that signify, you know, you've got your mind in the past, um, reflecting, wondering if you did the right thing, if you said the right thing. Um, there's like this, this, you're doing like a little bit of a life review is how it comes through this this eclipse season. Wondering, you know, what is shoulda, coulda energy. And that's everybody. So it looks like it works out for you, though, because the Queen of Swords comes out with the Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Swords, you know, she has a different perspective now. She can see things much clearer. Her head's above the clouds. She's looking, you know, forward, right? She's got a hand out. As, so she's got one hand out as if to say, sure. If you want to talk, we can talk, right? We can talk, cerebral energy. If you want to have, and I'm hearing, if you want to have a war of words with me, good luck. And then I see the, the sword coming down. Somebody might be testing you or you're thinking about a past situation where someone did test you and you're wondering, was that the right way to handle it? Nine of Pentacles. Um, this indicates also that you are feeling very independent right now and you're doing, 
you know, maybe you're doing really well with your business or you're feeling confident in, in your vision. We're going to clarify all these cards. Why the Nine of Pentacles out of curiosity real quick? Just show me. I've got Four of Swords. Some of you might be thinking about taking a vacation. That's for sure. Travel is coming through big time. Six of Cups. So you've got the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Yeah, this is a time of reflection. Because with the Death card showing up, Six of Cups can be thinking about the past. Mercury goes into retrograde on April 1st. So whatever you're experiencing, let me just break down to eclipse energy. So think back six months ago, right? In October, whatever you were dealing with specifically in October during that eclipse, whatever was happening, it's like the conclusion of that saga happens now. And then the beginning of something different also takes place. That's what eclipses are all about. And they're faded. There's nothing that you can do to um, stop what's going to happen. But what you can do is you can ask for ease during transition, because sometimes if you're not familiar or in tune with the energies around you, it, it, it can be really jarring and shocking. And eclipses are meant to bring about shock. We've got Queen of Cups coming in under the Queen of Swords. So that's fascinating because here with this uh, Six of Cups and Queen of Cups, there's a lot of emotion, a lot of energy, nurturing, Hmm. I'll be interested to see how these clarify. These two came out together, so I'll take them. I've got the chariot coming through with the ace of wands. Guys, you know, you may have somebody come back from the recent past. And I want to be clear on that. This is coming through as recent past that shows up after a time of separation. I see ace of cups chariot card. So yes, while this is a new beginning in love, right? New, new desires and new passion. This is really coming through. You had a situation with a person. It might be romantic. It might be, you know, based on this lunar energy, it could be very well in your family, whatever. There's some apology here where somebody says, look, I messed up. You know, I want to make it right. There's that thought here. And it's, it's like divinely guided that you have a conversation. Now, the next steps, what's going to happen next? Chances are we might not be, you know, clued into that because you'll find out after the eclipse in Aries on the 8th. But let's see what we can find out. So I've got the Eight of Swords being clarified by the Five of Wands. It sounds like because of an argument, because of a, of a situation. So if this is a family drama, maybe something happened within your family, has you feeling like you don't want to connect, has you feeling like, you know, trapped in a situation. This could be a friendship. You know, it doesn't really come through <clears throat> like a work situation. It could be. But this feels more emotional. This feels more personal, real personal. It feels like somebody really did you dirty. You know what I mean, Leo? And 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 that, you know, you were blinded by their their attack on you. Truly. It's almost like you had no idea that somebody was feeling some sort of way towards you. So I've got the Ace of Cups coming up for the second time in your reading over the Scorpio energy. So again, Leo, you could be dealing directly with the Scorpio, and this signifies that there's a new relationship being built from um like a new phase of a relationship with the Scorpio, if you already know them. But truly, this tells me that a relationship that you're in is taking a huge transformation, right? And if you're not in a relationship, this could be that one is coming your way because you've changed and you can accept that type of loving vibration at this point. Because you see that the Scorpio energy is coming towards this Ace of Cups. And if this isn't a specific person for you, this is the energy of transformation, transforming desires. I feel like you're going to look at things really, really differently here after this eclipse. I've got the Six of Pentacles being clarified by the Empress card. I have to say this. It's coming through that some of you may find out that you're pregnant this month, right? Because you see that this person is giving to children. So there could be that energy of like, um, this almost comes through like, you know, you get to tell somebody like your parents, Hey, I'm pregnant. You get to tell your brothers or whomever, um, Hey, you know, 
so-and-so and I are having a baby, we're adopting. That's a big theme coming through this week. I keep for a lot of signs. So check out your other placement that's coming through that an adoption process will be either initiated or finalized. Again, it depends on what phase of this experience you're in. Um, that's definitely coming through. The other way that this has manifested, to be honest, and this, I think this was in Cancer and Scorpio's reading, and since Scorpio is showing up again in your reading, I'm going to say it here. You might be on the other end of an inheritance of some sort, one that's unexpected, and that takes you by surprise. And because you have so much energy this week in one-on-one -on -one and family, it is possible, uh, Leo, that you could be experiencing that. Like you're on the receiving end of somebody else's generosity. I've got two of cups coming through with the four of cups. Some of you are really thinking about a past person. Two of cups is soulmate energy. You know, again, doesn't have to be um, a, a, a romantic partner. This could be um, an estranged child. This could be an estranged business partner, an estranged best friend. But this is someone that's not readily available for you. And this is that energy of like, oh, what happened? What is shoulda, coulda? I miss that person. I miss this energy more reflection and the universe says, listen, I've got something even better for you, right? Either we're gonna reconstruct that past and make it in harmonious balance again, right? If it's really meant to be, or, you know, we've got a, a more suitable replacement for who you are today. And I know that I'm saying that and I used the term of having a potentially an estranged family member and I can feel it, like there's no replacement for that, no. No one can replace another person, absolutely. But it's the energy, right? It's the energy that gets filled with another experience. And that's what I'm saying. Another experience comes through to help ease the transition of the emptiness that is the void. The em it's that was redundant. Hey, no, that's so far. That went all the way, okay. Let me stop complaining. A couple came out. I've got the... Wow, I've got the um, three of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. So we're going to take them like this. With the queen of swords and the seven of pentacles, this is this tells a story, all right? She's wandering over here like, is anything I'm doing going to pan out? Am I, I'm giving too much of myself. Is this relationship going anywhere? You know, why am I spending so much time thinking? Like, this is where you're midweek and you start to see more clearly that ace of cups so you start to have your mind go down a different path of reevaluating where you are and where you're headed and i think truly that's where the transition takes place because i've also got the nine of pentacles coming through with the three of pentacles this indicates too that you're you're very focused on on other things not just these relationships it's like to be honest with you you're very busy you're very independent, even if you're partnered, you're very independent. Um, you're very focused on building something that that is really coming through. It could be a business, whatever. And while it's not the biggest energy in your reading, it's telling me that you're living in this world of distraction, Leo. And you're keeping yourself busy. You're keeping yourself going, going, going. And there has to be a time of being a little bit less go, go, go. Not helpful. We're in Aries season, right? So um, because these other matters of the heart is what I'm hearing. The matters of the heart are going to arise for you this eclipse season. But, you know, it, it's almost like you've been going through this process of keeping yourself so busy that you can't sit in your emotions. Judgment card. Wow. The judgment card is coming through with the six of cups. <clears throat> Yeah, so you're, this is about, to me, this comes through like being called back home. You could be traveling, like I said, this could be a family reunion, something that has to be settled. This could be that, um, that inheritance I was talking about because the Six of Cups is about like reflection, being called back home, being, uh, the, with the judgment coming through, it could be like an actual judgment coming through over, this is very specific. You could actually have a judgment coming through over that inheritance that came up before or um, a court matter, 
very specific and not what these cards generally mean, but that is how it's coming through. You could be waiting for a judgment or there could be some, some kind of karmic balance is taking place as well, Leo, that's unexpected this week. And they're not really giving me much more information on that. So yeah, I mean, I'm sorry that this reading seems to be covering quite a few things, but again, it's a general reading. So it, it boils down to this. You've been kind of avoiding the emotional part of something that was really hurtful. So you've had some, you know, upset, some disruption in an area of a soulmate. Take that how it resonates. You've had a lot of reflection on it and you've been keeping busy, maybe not sitting in the emotion of it all. And it's like, you know, upon reflection, you pivot. Mm. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is Cancer energy. And Queen of Cups is coming through with the Seven of Swords. So Seven of Swords is like fighting for something, like winning at all costs. And this person over here is very emotional. So there seems to be, I don't know if somebody hurt your feelings, Leo, or if you feel like somebody took advantage of you or somebody wasn't honest. That could be one situation. That could be why all the five of wands and the disruption. Um, but to be to be clear with you, I feel like as we get towards the end of the week, it's less about that, but it's more about this rectifying and actually standing up for what you were feeling to begin with. Like whatever you were having um, emotions about, right? You didn't get a chance to say your piece and you're like, no, you're gonna hear me out. So there's that. You could also, Leo, be dealing specifically with a cancer where you feel like there's no winning. That's the other thing. Like you could be dealing with a cancer or it could be a Pisces Scorpio, right? That happens, other water signs. Um, but you could be dealing with somebody where you feel like there's no winning or, you know, like they always have a point and you're feeling like I don't even, I don't know how to approach them to say I'm sorry or vice versa, right? They could go either way. So we've got this Ace of Cups and the Chariot card that came out together. Why? Let's clarify that, please. Oh. So two cards came out for those two cards. The first card that came out was Scorpio. And again, all I can tell you here is that there's something transforming in your relationships, in your love life that is got divinely guided. And it's going to happen quick during this week through the end of April 8th, right around there. Wow. I was just going to say to you, this is crazy. You guys can look at my other readings because I've been saying this. When <clears throat> spirit doesn't want you to know something, they have to conceal an outcome. The high priestess will show up to, as a clarifier. The seven of cups will show up as a clarifier or the moon card will show up as a clarifier. So here I'm trying to get more information. The clarifier is the high priestess. And that has happened every freaking reading this week because the fates are involved and they don't want us to know anything. <laughs> We can't know anything. We cannot pick our own adventure. We picked the part of the adventure we wanted to have six months ago, and they've been working on the <laughs> the grand opening, right? Act one. So I've got the chariot, the ace of cups, and Scorpio as your final cards with the high priestess showing up saying, listen, this next week, you're going to have to pay attention to all the clues we leave you. You're going to have to follow your instincts, follow your gut, and, and be very skillful right? Be methodical in what you say. Um, this is an energy of you've got to get your words out, but you have to do so with compassion or else you're not going to be heard. It won't land properly because it looks like whoever you're dealing with is very emotional and um, maybe has some things to say. So there's an energy here of balancing those things and being adaptable and not letting anything anyone says stand in your way. So let's go ahead and look at our shadow work for Leo, please. What is the shadow work for Leo this week? Thank you. I've got number 31, which reduces to the number four, balance, foundation. And this reads atonement. Wow. Look at that with all of the swords in their back. The number four is also a number of discipline. So... Remember how I said that you might be dealing with somebody who's very emotional, volatile, right? And you want to speak your truth and you are hesitant to do so because it might not feel safe. This is a time where it's like, you know what? You might have to watch what you say. You might have to, um, to really listen. 
so that this situation can take uh, can grow legs and do whatever it's supposed to do. But I think that's part of your um, eclipse moment is about sitting with something that has you feeling like, wow, you know, maybe I could have done it differently. Um, or, you know, again, it could be that the other person, it's almost like both of you, Leo, are coming to this understanding like nobody was right. And there's like this sorry on both sides, to be honest. Um, but what happens next is that's what the high priestess is saying. Like, yeah, there was disruption. Yes, there was, you know, hurt and pain and words and sorrow and all the things. And yes, there will be a conversation to review it again. But no, we're not going to tell you what happens. That's the energy. <laughs> wow. This reads number 18, confronting inner demons. And that's why the high priestess isn't telling us what's going to happen next. Because if we knew, it's almost like cheating on the exam, right? It's true, you know, and then you, you, you have the perspective all wrong. You have to go through these. That, that's the thing. This is perspective building week. You have to go through these like trap doors and hidden mazes and you know all of these little nooks and crannies you have to you have to see what's behind every little door before you get to the place that um it's revealed and it's because each little door has a lesson and it has a little like a little tidbit a little clue and for you these are the demons that are inside that you have to release and with the four of cups coming up and you've got the ace of cups coming up twice you've got a lot of cards of balance and being adaptable i feel like part of the thing that you're working through this eclipse season would be that of control and relationship it would be that of um being vulnerable as well and being yourself right leo's as one myself right or leo rising we definitely have a presence and sometimes that presence takes over um that persona takes over who we genuinely are, especially as we evolve. So keep that in mind. Be adaptable with who you are. Remember, we're all stars from the sky with feet on the ground, doing the best we can with the information we have, Leo. Be kind to yourselves and each other. And until next time, may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it. Thank you so much for spending your day here with me. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Happy Eclipse.